Now, this is a little video of uh, the U-turns and I think a solution that we could have to make the tractor follow the line a little better. Uh, I got a clean slate of snow. I put some lines in there the other day and I've just been playing around with look-ahead settings. And what I've noticed is uh, if you're doing a tight turn at the end of the field when you come into the U-turn, uh, the look-ahead point gets too far in the in the pattern Let's see if I can show you what happens here so this would be a turn at a nice working speed See how it wants to go outside the line because the look ahead point is that far along on the pattern. The tractor tends to go wide and then it has to over correct to get back onto the line that was on there. So what I'm thinking we could do is for instance, if I have my look ahead set back at three, three seconds, and I put the minimum way down, 0.5, if I'm going slow on a turn, we'll just hit the U-turn button, and I'll slow the tractor right down. This is uh, with zero skip. And that uh, look ahead point then, of course, because it's in seconds, gets a lot closer to where the tractor actually is. So I'm only going three and a half kilometers per hour. And then it seems to follow that pattern better. So if we had a setting that if you get to the U-turn, it automatically goes to the minimum look ahead I think we'd do a better job following our turn pattern. I guess that's the problem with my drill motor. It can't steer fast enough to get there the whole way either. So that might be part of my problem. And still, there we go. But now I'm just crawling along. If I were to speed up a little bit, and I bring my look ahead, further ahead to where four is kind of nice for following a line, and now I'm going just about six kilometers per hour. My pattern gets too far out of whack. And then even at this speed, I got a lot of... Oh, just froze. <laughs>